Hey coders this is Neha from Webstack welcome to another episode on Node.js series so in this video we are going to talk about the life cycle of Node.js program also we are going to learn event loops in Node.js so let's get started starting the video if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to Webstack and hit the bell to get all the notifications So in the previous video we have created node.js server using http module and now we will look behind the scenes how that program is actually working so if you have not followed that video i will provide the link in the description box below you can go and check out that first to execute the node program we simply have written a command that is node then the file name so in our case it's app.js so we have written node app.js that will actually start running my javascript code or you can say it will start executing my script and after that it gets parsed by the parser it will be compiled to some machine language that simply means that all the functions variables will get registered in the memory locations uh, like a usual program but after passing the code our program reaches a certain point where it could not exit so we have seen in the previous program as well that my program could not end on its own it was running infinite number of times so how that is possible in node.js so this is possible with the help of event loop in node.js and event loops are a very crucial concept in node and also an interesting one so event loop is something which is managed by node itself and it starts executing as soon as you execute the program of node that means when you write node file name it gets executed at that very moment and it will run as long as you have some request to cater to so like in our case you can see that we have a function called create server which actually takes a request listener so this is the function which is actually listening to all my request and as long as i give the request to my server it keeps on executing that and that means it never gets ended so create server is a function which creates an infinite loop running and every time you give the request for that web server it will execute the code that you have written there so event loops are something which makes your task very fast and also it performs multitasking like for an example you have a dbms uh, you want to actually access the data from the database or you want to insert something into database that simply requires some calling of the function so when you call that it will take some amount of time maybe in nanoseconds microseconds but it will take some time so it is not possible for every request that we can wait for that particular time and then we can go on to the next request so that is where event loops come into picture so your dbms part will be going in the background and event loops keeps on running continuously so that it can cater to the needs of other request as well so this is called multitasking and it is done on a single thread in node.js with the help of event loops but we can also exit from that loop explicitly by just writing a command that is process.exit so this will actually uh, get out of that event loop and it will say that okay you don't have any request further that i should be executing so that process will get stopped there so let's check out in our code how we can exit that server though you don't want to do it because your server should be always up and running but let's check this out how we can exit from that event loop so now inside this create server method i will be writing simply process dot exit and that's it so as soon as i run this program let's run it with the help of node command 
it's optional if you want to run it with .js extension you can otherwise you can skip that .js as well so now you can see that server is still running it has not exited that simply means that we have still not given any request to this listener so it is still listening to my request first so i will be giving the request by going into the browser let's execute this and now you can see it just gave me a message server running and after that it just got exited and it gave the control back to my terminal so this is how you can exit this event loop by explicitly mentioning if you want to exit that so this is it for behind the scenes of this node.js program and in the next video we will be looking through this request and response objects that we are providing inside this server and also we will be seeing how to send the responses to the browser so stay tuned so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please give the thumbs up and do share it with your friends so that we could reach out to every web developer we can so let's meet in the next video